All right, our next speaker, our next speaker is dear to our community here, family. He's dear to Orange County in the healing process, in the peace process of our neighborhood. He was instrumental in the Pulse nightclub shooting healing of our town. He's also the very first openly LGBTQ Latino in the House of Representatives for the state of Florida. Yes! Isn't it amazing, folks? In 2020, we're still saying first. But that's all right, because we're gonna keep breaking down these barriers, breaking these glass ceilings, breaking all of these obstacles that get in the way of us celebrating our humanity towards each other. Please, please welcome Carlos Guillermo Smith. Good afternoon, Orlando. How y'all doing this afternoon? I see a lot of folks are here for public education and public schools, yes! My name is Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith and I represent all of you in the Florida House of Representatives. And what I can tell you is that as a product of Palm Beach County public schools, I would not be standing before you today had it not been for my public school teachers, had it not been for my kindergarten teacher, Miss Lynn Wheeler at Coral Sunset Elementary, my middle school teachers at Loggers Run Middle, and every last high school teacher at Spanish River High who made sure that I walked across the stage in my cap and gown in 1999. But what I also know is since I graduated from Florida public schools, that our public school system has faced unthinkable budget cuts. Our kids have been over-tested and we have continued to ask our teachers and educators to do more with less. They have been overworked and underpaid. Is that right? But I think it's important that folks here rallying for public education understand how did we get here in Florida? Well, I think we got here when Governor Jeb Bush decided that he wanted to move public education towards a system of privatized education in Florida. That began when Governor Jeb Bush was in the governor's mansion in Tallahassee and it evolved to a voucher scheme system in the state of Florida that bleeds one billion, with a B, one billion dollars out of our public school systems into unaccountable private school programs. That, boo is right, but don't boo, vote. That has forced our traditional public schools to not only have to deal with larger class sizes, floundering teacher pay, but we have seen new initiatives of late where traditional public schools are being forced by Tallahassee to share their resources for constructing new public school buildings with unaccountable charter schools. Yeah. Tallahassee has unfairly capped the ability of local voters to be able to increase the millage rate to two mills as they should be allowed to do, which has choked off our public school's ability to build more classrooms to build more buildings, to get our students and kids out of portables. It has choked off the ability of our public school districts to be able to increase teacher pay. We need to be allowed the opportunity to let the required local effort grow, to have the resources to increase teacher pay. Who doesn't love Orlando? Are you
are you proud to be in a community like Orlando that is inclusive and diverse? Are you proud to support a public school system in Orange County where we have an ordinance that says teachers and students will not be discriminated against based on their sexual orientation or gender identity? I agree with you, I'm proud of that. And that is why I have been proudly demanding accountability for the unaccountable private schools in the state of Florida who have been discriminating against LGBTQ students and their families. We need to pass non-discrimination policies across the board to ensure that not only our public schools, but all private schools are having their doors open to all students and all families. Look, the reality is, is for decades, and I want you to hear this because it's very important. For decades, folks like you, teachers, parents, community leaders, advocates, Democrats, we have all demanded an increase in teacher pay and teacher salary across the board. And now here we are in 2020, and our new Republican Governor Ron DeSantis says, we should increase teacher pay. Now to that, I tell Governor Ron DeSantis, welcome to the conversation. Welcome to the party, Governor DeSantis. We have been talking about increased teacher pay for decades. So now that the conversation has been opened up to be a bipartisan conversation, I welcome it. But here's what we have to remember. The House of Representatives this week has put down $650 million towards raising pay for classroom teachers who make below $47,500 per year. It's a start, it's a start, but it is not good enough. I already know what I'm gonna tell you next. We need to make sure that our veteran teachers and all instructional personnel are included in teacher pay raises across the board. Now I wanna break it down for you because I think it's important to follow the money. Yes, the House has just put down $650 million for teacher pay. But do you wanna know what else they put down? They put down $560 million in automatic corporate tax refunds to the 1% of corporations that make so much money that the state of Florida has decided they deserve a $560 million automatic refund on their corporate income taxes. Folks, this has become a binary choice because Republican leaders in Tallahassee will continue to tell you year after year that we have a quote, tight budget year. I call BS. I call BS because the reality is, is we have a choice. Either we can pay all teachers not only classroom teachers, but all instructional personnel, whether they've just been hired yesterday or they've been teaching in our schools for 30 years, we have a choice. Increase their pay, everyone, or refund $560 million to the 1% of corporations who paid them. I choose our teachers. I choose our educators and I choose our kids who deserve to go to a fully funded, high quality public school in Florida. We can do this together, folks, and we know that Florida can be the best place in the nation to send your kids to school to live, work, and play, 
But folks in Tallahassee want to make Florida the cheapest place in the nation to live. I disagree. We deserve the best. Our kids deserve better. And we can do this together. Thank you, Orlando. Thank you, Carlos. Give him a big hand. Yes. And this beautiful one right here, this is my grandbaby, 